What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. So today I've got a little bit of a busy and interesting day so I thought I would take you guys along with me and vlog it. I'm currently heading to my first class in the morning where I'm doing a presentation on HIV and vaccine development. Feeling a little bit nervous but it's only about 12 minutes with three minutes of questions so I should be okay. If I can I'll try and record something of it. And then later in the day I'm meeting up with Kenji and Georgina, two of my closest friends here at King's to practice OSCEs. So we're preparing for our clinical exams that are going to be next week and I'll walk you guys through a little bit more of that later on in the day. But yeah for now it's currently almost 9am. I really need to go because we're starting at 9.30 and I'll see you guys at school. Peace! Alright, so I have managed to make it to uni. I am definitely a little bit late, but let's hope I'm not that late. I'm gonna walk in and do my presentation now, and hopefully everything goes well. I'll catch up with you guys after I finish my presentation. Alright, so good morning everyone. The paper that I was assigned to make a presentation on today is titled AAB Express ECD4IG Provides Durable Protection from Multiple Shift Challenges. Now I know that that title can be quite intimidating to read at first glance, so let me try and break it down into simpler terms. And you can see that for the full duration of the experiment for 9 weeks, the mice that were given ECD4IG were protected and had a viral load beneath the detectable level for HIV. Alright, and that's it. Thank you very much. I was giving a presentation on HIV and vaccine development. My paper was specifically looking at one of the ways that you can use a vector, a den associated virus, to administer antibodies into humans passively. Really interesting stuff, and I think it went fairly well. I wasn't really that nervous, which is great. I came up here so I could enjoy the sun a little bit, which has just disappeared, unfortunately. Ah, there we go, it's coming back. Um, and it's gone again. Man, London London weather is bipolar as hell. So for the rest of the day, I've got two big things planned. The first thing is that I have a personal tutor meeting at 2 p.m. So at King's, you're assigned to a personal tutor who basically you go to if you have any problems relating to academics at school or even relating to personal life. So thankfully, I'm not experiencing any of that right now. But every couple of months, you have to meet with your personal tutor and get a form signed off. Shortly after that, I'm meeting with Kenji and Georgina. We're gonna meet in a group together to practice for our OSCE exams. So I'll definitely be filming when I do that and I'll bring you guys along for the whole experience. So in our second year at King's College London, we don't only have written exams, we also have these practical exams that are called the OSCEs. And in them, it's kind of like an MMI. You have to go into multiple different stations and do a range of different things. So some of them can be exploring and explaining a disease with a patient. It can be like a focused history taking. So a patient comes in complaining of chest pain and you have to take their history and ask all the right questions. It can also be something like a clinical skill. So for example, taking blood pressure, giving an injection of insulin or something like that. So to give you guys a little bit of an update about my week, Yesterday we had dissection of the upper limb, so that means from the shoulders all the way down to the hands. And honestly guys, that was kind of crazy. It's amazing to see how many different tendons and ligaments you have in your hands to be able to move your fingers and whatnot. And I have to go commit all of that to memory. But it's something that I'll work on slowly, slowly, and I'll get to it. And then after dissection yesterday, we had a huge four hour OSCE session. It was really, really tiring, but we got to do a lot of different stations that might come up and we got a lot of useful practice in. So yesterday we actually covered a lot of the talking elements of our upcoming OSCEs. So dealing with patients who want to go through weight loss and they're sort of embarrassed or unsure about how to do that or having patients come in who are upset because their husband came to visit the GP and we can't give out any information about that. So today what we're going to focus on is more of the clinical skills. So we're going to go to the Chandler Sale building which is a clinical building on our campus and we can rent out like a blood pressure meter, we can rent needles and syringes to practice our insulin injections and things like that. So that's what we're going to try and focus on today to get a little bit more of the clinical skills out of the world. Alright guys, so I've just found an empty classroom so I can sit down, have my lunch, and have a quick chat with my girlfriend. I got wasabi, like I mentioned, in my 5k Q&A. So you guys know, I ain't lying. Wasabi is the sweet and spicy chicken, I think. It's a little bit hot, it's a little bit spicy for me. Just a white boy not used to the chili. I'm just gonna munch this, have a quick chat, and then I'm gonna have to run off to my personal tutor meeting. Catch up with you guys after that. We're up the stairs. Feature, feature. <laughs> <laughs> Free 
So me and Kenji just went to the Chandler Sale building. We asked to borrow a couple of things like blood pressure and equipment for a subcutaneous injection. And they told us there was this room where we could go that had a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of equipment that we could try out. So this is what we found. How mad is uh, that? that? We have arms for <laughs> drawing blood. We've got male and female genitalia. We're gonna get, get my video demonetized, that's for sure. Do we even have for like basic life support? Check it out, you can do the head tilt, chin lift. That's awesome. So me and Kenji, we also got a couple of needles. So for insulin and stuff like that, that's mainly what we wanted to practice today. So we're gonna get to that and I'll show you a little bit of it now. Man's like Kenji. We're gonna run through the blood pressure simulation for Oskis. Should be simple, I should get it right, but if not, I'll just speed it up. You won't know if I did that. <laughs> I've been asked to take your blood pressure today. Mm -hmm. It's a really simple procedure that's just gonna involve me placing a cuff around your arm okay. and then having a little bit of a listen with my stethoscope. Is that all right with you? That's all done, thank you very much. This, right? We've just covered subcutaneous injections and administration of insulin injections. We also ran through blood pressure a couple of times to make sure that we have that down. Now Kenji's going to show me how to do venue puncture because I've never done venue puncture before. He's done it a couple of times on the ward and in hospital as well. So he's going to run through that for me now. Uh, you need to remove really quickly. So like you do it quickly after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I'm gonna do a cannulation, which is more of like a permanent needle that goes in the arm. It's not actually a needle that goes in, I always just think that it was a needle that's in the arm. You would face with the passes inside here. That's his first time taking blood. Yeah, yeah. So, on it, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this a little bit. Alright. You ready? Yeah, you got it. Okay, hold it down. Hold, hold, hold the green down. You got it, yeah. Let's go. Good job, bro. Don't take too much, though. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hey. Alright guys, so we just got kicked out of that Chandler sale building. They close at 4.30, so unfortunately we can't be there for any longer. But we practiced a bunch of things, including getting blood drawn. That was really exciting. Shout out to Kenji who's holding the camera for, for trusting me with giving me his arm. So yeah, we got kicked out of there. So now we're just sitting in an empty classroom. We're going to practice a couple more clinical skills and then see where the day takes us. Talk to you soon. Peace. That is it for me and Kenji's OSCE prep for today. We honestly got in a really good session, did a lot of clinical skills and a lot of patient talking as well, history taking and things like that. Now I'm just gonna head straight home, probably take the rest of the day off, maybe do a little bit of administrative work, catch up on some YouTube stuff, reply to all your comments because I released a video today. I'll see you guys at home when I'm all settled in. I'm finally home now. That's that. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of my day as far as productivity and practicing for the OSCEs goes. I've had a really productive day, so I'm happy to take the rest of the day off not studying. I'm going to quickly make some dinner and just take it easy and relax. I've got an early wake up tomorrow because I'm going to the GP and we have quite a long day there of seeing patients and doing even more practice for the OSCEs. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you want me to do any more vlogs, do leave a comment down below, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more videos from me. And I'll see you guys shortly in the next video. Peace.